today I'm reviewing the Dr. Brenner Vitamin C Serum. And really quick, I just want to say I purchase all these products with my own money. I'll never waste your time with sponsored ads or videos. So if you want to help support the channel, check out nobsbeauty.com. Check out my Patreon community or click on the Amazon link below. Lincoln came down. I think he wanted to say hi, but then he just left. Lincoln, come here. Love bug. Come say hi. Everyone loves you. Okay. I guess that's all you get. He's shy today. Lincoln, come here. Okay. Lincoln! You know what? The only time he likes to come down here is when he can sit in my chair and walk on the desk. That's all you get for Lincoln for today. But you can still hear his wonderful coughing noises. Come here. Lincoln, come here real quick. Yeah. You your cute little face. Oh, okay. He's such a good boy. Okay. So, on to this vitamin C serum, which I absolutely love. And uh, if you pick it up from Dr. Brenner's website, you get a little sample of the SkinCeutical serum with it, which is nice. So, um, Dr. Brenner calls this the most effective vitamin C serum developed by a dermatologist. Formulated with the same exact ingredients as SkinCeutical CE Ferulic, but with 20% pure alisorbic acid. Mm. The SkinCeuticals contains 15%. This one contains 20%. So you're getting a little bit more bang for your buck. Well, and you're saving a ton of money too. Uh, brightens skin's complexion. Our powerful vitamin C serum with hyaluronic acid working together with vitamin E and ferulic acid clears skin imperfections and even helps with acne and lightens acne scars, increases skin firmness and reduces the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Uh, we use 20% pure azorbic acid, which is pure vitamin C, as opposed to other brands that use sodium ascorbyl phosphate or magnesium ascorbyl phosphate, which only contain a fraction of vitamin C. Guaranteed fresh, which is a big deal in my opinion. We manufacture a vitamin C serum every two weeks to make sure that the bottle you get is fresh and full of active vitamin C, E, and ferulic acid. 100% guarantee or your money back. Which is a big deal in my opinion because, um, so the Tarte Youth or Dare Vitamin C Serum, I loved when I got the first bottle. Loved it, did a video, great. Uh, I finished that bottle and eventually, a couple months later, it was on sale at Sephora and I was in Sephora, so it was like a just a splurge purchase, picked it up, got home, tried it two days later and it was oxidized. And I have a feeling it sat on the shelf at that Sephora store probably since they first came out and they sent their first shipments out. So the fact that something's manufactured fresh is an absolute huge deal. Okay, so that right there is a huge selling point in my opinion. Um, Timeless, I think, does the same thing too. So it's worth investigating before you spend your money on it. Okay, so packaging, another dropper bottle, which I'm not a huge fan of dropper bottles for vitamin C, although... When you get something that's super affordable, like this one is super affordable, I can kind of forgive them a bit, although the vitamin C uh, degrades every time you open it up and gets less and less effective. Uh, keep it in a cool refrigerator we're not using. It will also help. So I'm not going to ding them, but I think in the future, it's going to be a bigger hurdle for vitamin C products. I'm, I think I'm going to get a little strict on it. Okay, denatured or drying types of alcohol. Uh, there is none. And it is also fragrance-free, so that's a big deal. The manufacturing location for it is the U.S., so no issues with that. Uh, ease of use, so I recommend using this in your morning routine. Um, I cleanse, tone, do an essence, apply a serum, then I'll apply my vitamin C product, apply a moisturizer, sunscreen, and then you're good to go. So can... It's well worth putting in your morning routine, and if you uh, if your skin gets really used to the vitamin C, sometimes throwing it in once in a while in your evening routine for a little boost is certainly a good deal, so as long as your skin is uh, not sensitive to it. This one is a little stronger. It's 20% as opposed to 15%, or a lot of other ones are 10%. So I really recommend starting out slowly, um, mix a couple drops in with your moisturizer uh, for a few days until your skin starts to become acclimated to the higher percentage. I will say I've used a lot of vitamin C products and the first several times I used this one, my skin did sting a bit. So 
Um, it is a little bit higher percentage, so be cautious of that. You don't want to overdo it. Anything that's good can be bad if you overdo it. Pretty much anything, except for ice cream. Well, you can even overdo that. I haven't gotten to that point yet in life, but I'm sure maybe I'll try to. Okay, so for the pH for this one, looks to be pretty close to three. I would say almost right about three, actually. And for vitamin C serum, you want it to be a pH of under 3.5-ish. Uh, the pH, if it's a, under that, allows it to become readily available for your skin to soak in and start turning it into benefits. So they did a good job. pH is spot on. No issues with that. So very easy to use. Then we get to antioxidants and beneficial ingredients. Uh, so I mentioned the pH. So on this one, we've got the exact same ingredient list as SkinCeuticals. They send you a sample of SkinCeuticals with it. I think if you buy it from their website to use and compare. The only difference is this one contains more vitamin C. Otherwise, the ingredients are all the same. Uh, we've got the 20% vitamin C. We've got vitamin E, 1% vitamin E, hyaluronic acid, 1%. Ferulic acid, 0.5%, panthenol, and then a couple preservatives. So the ingredient list is very impressive, kind of minimal, but it works for most people. Most people shell out readily 170 bucks for SkinCeuticals. You can save yourself 150 bucks and send the check to me. Just kidding. For ice cream. No, I'm just kidding. So overall, very impressive ingredient list. I don't have much else to say about that. It all works well. I'm surprised I haven't been sued yet because I know L'Oreal was kind of throwing the hammer down on some people, but I hope they don't. You know what? The patent's got to be close to expiring at some point. Okay, in terms of animal testing, this is the other, other than the more vitamin C you get, the only other difference between this and SkinCeuticals is that the Dr. Brenner brand is cruelty-free, and SkinCeuticals is not. So that makes it another big selling point. I guess there's three main differences. Price, animal cruelty, and actual percentage of vitamin C. Performance, it's a great vitamin C serum, works well, helps brighten skin so fast, stronger than SkinCeuticals, yet cruelty-free and affordable, works well in my routine. Uh, I did notice a bit of stinging when I started, but now after, after I've used it for several weeks, it went away pretty quickly. It was just like the first week I used it, I noticed the stinging. And after that, it pretty much went away, and now my skin's adjusted to it. I will say I noticed a bit of an improvement in brightness and as well as preventing breakouts with this one. I'm not sure if that's the extra 5% vitamin C in there doing it or it's just uh, attributed to the overall formula of this one. But overall, the performance of it was great. Very happy with it. No issues at all. Uh, then we get to the price. And this is one ounce, 30 milliliters, and it retails about $19.99. And you get a tiny little SkinCeutical sample with it if you buy it from the website. So I think the price is a bargain, especially when you can spend a lot more. I think, so if SkinCeutical is $170, how many bottles of this could you buy for one spa of SkinCeuticals? 14? I don't know. That might be, I don't know. Like 10, whatever. Eight, whatever. I don't know. I'm not good at math on the fly or in general. So overall, the price is a deal. And then we get to the it factor. Love it. Affordable, cruelty-free, fragrance-free, alcohol-free, proper pH, a boost of vitamin C. You can't go wrong with this one. Love it. Well, we're checking out. Highly urge if you're uh, a seasoned vitamin C user, this one's one to check out if you haven't tried it out yet. So very impressive. Okay, overall, out of 10 being a perfect score, this one got a 10 which says a lot. There's not a lot of vitamin C products that have gotten a perfect 10, and this is one of them. So certainly worth checking out if you haven't. Um, anyway, I'm interested in hearing from you guys if you've had a chance to try this one out. And if you have what your thoughts are, so leave a comment. I love hearing from you. And stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thank you so much, guys. Brenner Vitamin C Serum. Hi, come here, Lincoln. Come here, Lincoln. Oh, okay.